a year ago, um, it was a season of, of some losses and a lot of young guys, new guys playing in, in the MIAA for the first time. You're one of them. What have you taken from last year's experience that you were able to apply to this year, maybe early on that has helped you throughout this year? I'd say just a leadership role. You know, last year, with us having so many young guys on the team, it was kind of hard to find those guys who wanted to lead. And, you know, we were all we were all trying to play our best, but at the same time, you kind of have to have guys to, you know, pick pick you up when things are going wrong. And there was a lot of bad things that happened last year during the season. And I think this year we were just, you know, we, we had a season to play together. Um, we had a spring and summer to work together. And I think, um, you know, some of those guys um, stepping up and leading um, is kind of the difference this year. What about you specifically on the field? Is it, what did you learn last year at playing quarterback in the MIAA that you're able to apply to this year, or did maybe the game slow down a little bit this year for you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, just seeing you know all the like all the teams again, um, kind of knowing how they attacked us last year and trying to um, you know kind of eliminate those things from from last year and building them into this year. Um, you can always look at film. Um, from how they played us the year before um, and look at, you know, there's just, it's just more experience and it's just, yeah, it slows down a little bit for you. How would you evaluate your play so far this season from maybe the, the start to here we are going into week eight? Um, you know, I've, I've less, I need to throw less picks for sure. Um, I think I'm on eight this year. Um, so that's something that I definitely need to do better at and work on for the team. Um, but, you know, just um, I think when I do – you know, screw up or have a mess up, you know, everybody kind of like picking me up. If someone else, you know, has a problem picking them up, just trying to stay together. Um, and I think this year we've done a good job of when the offense is struggling, the defense picked us up. And when the defense is struggling, the offense kind of picked us up. So I think it's a more of a team this year than it was last year. It appears you're doing a better job of maybe your initial target's not there, going through your progressions and finding other players. It seemed like, especially Saturday, had a lot of dump down passes because they were open. You feel you're getting better at that and then reading the entire play and the entire defense throughout? Yeah, for sure. You know, I just have a better feel pre-snap of kind of what they're trying to do um, and kind of how they want to attack us and try to take um, their weak spots. And when they're trying to take away our strengths, you know, just trying to, you know, make it as easy as possible for the offense as a whole. You know, you talked about the interceptions and you, you know, throwing too many, you think. Uh, you go back and look on the field and say, like, okay, what did I do wrong or what happened? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think, you know, before this week I've had, uh, I think four of them were in the red zone. So, you know, just trying to slow the game down and, and not, um, you know, press in situations where we um, can still get points regardless of if it being a touchdown or a kick. Um, but, you know, this last week I think we had a, you know, we had a miscommunication on one of them and then the defense kind of got me on the second one. And I think just finishing the game um, is, is something that, you know, we needed to do better of this week and that we didn't really, you know, we jumped on them pretty early and, um, we kind of let him, you know, hang around, and I think um, I didn't help that with the interception that I threw in the second half. So, I was to ask you about that. I've seen that a few times this year. You guys get out to a great start, and then kind of let off the gas a little bit and let him back in there. Um, what can you guys do differently, or that you guys talk about that amongst yourself to try to alleviate that from happening again? It's just execution. You know, we always say it's us versus us. Um, it's nothing the defense does. Obviously, when you go, I think. Almost every game this year, you know, the defense started with a three and out for them, and then we would go down and score, or vice versa. I think just executing and, you know, not hurting ourselves um, with turnovers and penalties um, throughout the game uh, just makes the game a lot easier and it flow a lot smoother. Talk about the relationship between maybe the, all the quarterbacks, but also you between the relationship between yourself and the offensive line here at Fort Hayes. That was great. Um, you know, we, we started off a little bit slower, um, but, you know, that kind of goes into turn with we had some tougher opponents at the beginning. Um, and, you know, I think we've kind of built a relationship, um, everybody has, just because, you know, there's been times, that, you know, there's, uh, you know, different people filling in for different spots. And so you kind of have to figure out um, what, your strengths are, what your strengths are and getting comfortable with, you know, talking with all of them and not just, um, you know, the starting five or whatever, because, you know, we've had um, injuries and we've had people, you know, um, fill in um, when they weren't really expecting to. Um, and, I, and we always have, you know, we have dinner every Thursday night. The quarterbacks and the O-line go out to thirsty. So, you know, just trying to build those relationships on and off the field. It's always going to help on the field. How has the emergence of the running game now for three straight weeks not only helped the offense but helped 
helped you as well? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, they do a great job. Um, you know, it's always good when the quarterback's over there saying, you know, just keep running the ball, just keep running it, you know. Um, but it, it's, just, it, it's just an execution um, standpoint. Uh, you know, I think the O-line has kind of uh, started working a lot better together. Um, and I think the, that defenses kind of have to respect all parts of the offense now. And it's, you know, it's a lot harder to stop. As you can see, you know, we're putting together a lot longer drives rather than just explosive plays. And, you know, that's all credit to the running backs and the offensive line. Looking ahead to this week, uh, one win team lost four in a row. As a player, how do you guard against the letdown and have that right mindset? Uh, sorry, repeat that. Uh, you're going up a team that's struggling right now, lost four in a row. Mm -hmm. As a player, how do you guard against the letdown and having the right mindset going into the game? Um, you know, we kind of have to take the same approach. Uh, I, we haven't beat Washburn since I've been here. Um, and I think, you know, this is a game that, you know, Coach Brown really wants to win every year. And, you know, it's kind of a competitive rivalry considering that he coached there. Um, so you kind of just have to take it the same way. I think we've done a good job about that um, these last couple of weeks of just, you know, taking the opponent serious no matter, you know, we're 0-0 this week just like we were last week. So. Uh, Thursdays, uh, are the quarterbacks paying for the offense? <laughs> I wish we could. I wish we could. I don't have that much money, but, you know, I do what I can. You know, if I have a little leftover, I'll give it to him.